look, look these polyester shorts, the polyester, they've been drying in the wind and the sunshine, so I think they're electrostatically charged now. I'll show you what I noticed. Look, I'm not an expert on electrostatic things, but I notice that a flower can be pulled. A flower can be pulled. Hang on. It was earlier. Oh. Now this is what I observed earlier. Come on. It's not working now. So a bit of electrostatic energy here, but I knew that uh, electrostatics like a child can get a plastic hairbrush and rip up some bits of paper and the paper will get picked up. But it's interesting to see a flower bend like this, watch. An invisible force making the flower bend. That's fun. I mean, it's different from dry old paper, isn't it? Bend, come on. Bend. So a bit of polyester rubbed or left out on the clothesline where it'll get blown by the wind and sunshine and electrostatically charged that way. But um, here we go. It can bend the flower. Isn't it fun? We all know about lifting up bits of paper with a plastic pen or hairbrush or a Van de Graaff generator making your hair stand up. But I didn't think it apply I didn't think about bend making a flower bend. Isn't it fun, look? Isn't it lots of fun? An invisible force. Well it's invisible, isn't it really? Let me go on that side. Bend. There you go. You like the little weed in Bill and Ben the flower pot men. Isn't it fun? That's an oxalis, by the way. I just happened to notice that I was comparing the yellow of this pair of shorts to the yellow flower. And I put them side by side to compare the two colours. And lo and behold, it bent before I got there. Isn't it fun? What's it called when you hold a bubble near a flame or something? Is that an adhesion? I'm not sure. I was looking at the laboratory window in the science classes at school. Will it bend on this side? Yes, it will. Seems to work with some other plants a bit. It does work with other plants a little. Seems to work very well with Alexalis. Come on. Bend, isn't it fun? Bend, come on. bend to my wheel. So the ancient Greeks used to rub a stone I'll call it a lecture, what we call jet, that stone called jet they used to rub, didn't they? Isn't it amazing? I'm easily amused though. Look who else is at the Oxalis. Hello butterfly. A butterfly at the Oxalis. That's a cabbage, a white cabbage introduced from England, isn't it? Introduced to Australia from England in the 1940s and that's a pest. 
Is it called a cabbage white or something? Where are you? There you are. I've come down to do my electrostatic test. I didn't know a butterfly would be here. How lovely. Isn't it busy on this Sunday afternoon? Uh-oh, an intruder. Did you hear the intruder's steps? Oh, what a beautiful butterfly. Even if it is a pest. And where was I? I've come to look at the oxalis. A bunch of oxalis. What should I call my video? Electrostatic oxalis. I only happened to discover it by accident. As I said, I was comparing the yellow colour of these sh shorts to the pretty flower. And I put them side by side and as I did it pulled over. Let's see. Come on, pull over. There you go. Isn't it wonderful? Pull. Like a magnet. Magnetic. Oh, electro static. My boyfriend knows all about strong and weak forces and things. He tries to teach me but I'm just a dumb blonde and I always forget. I'm not motivated to remember. Come on, bend. 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 Isn't it wonderful? When I was a kid in school, we'd all rip up a bit of paper and uh, get a plastic pen and rub the plastic pen on our trousers or whatever, or our jumpers, and then we'd pick up the paper, but I never really thought of it as applying to beautiful flowers in a garden, in my secret garden. I didn't rub it at first. It must have been the sun and wind that charged the plastic uh, uh, fabric. That nylon shade cloth that people use for curtains, if you hang that up on, a, or on an awning or a veranda, the wind can charge it so much that you get an electric shock when you touch it. We used to have it hanging out the front of our shed, you see, as a, for privacy. And when the um, wind blew in hot weather, I would get an electric shock all day long. Hello, B. How about a bit of B plus electricity? There you are, B. There you are, the B's getting pulled. I pulled the B as well. It's a lot of fun. What a lot of fun. Come on, Paul. Pull somebody, pull. I want to pull one with a bit of fly in it. What a lot of fun. I'm easily amused. There we go, B. I'm pulling one with a B in it. I've got a B in my bonnet. Never had a yellow bonnet. I've got to put in the B. What a lot of fun I'm having. I thought I'd share it with you. Yes, a Van de Graaff generator makes a person's hair stand up, doesn't it?
Oops, look, look who's here. A bee again. Where are you, bee? Bee, there is a bumble. There's no place like comb. Quickly, there we go. Be it ever so bumble, there is no place like comb. That's in that book, Bells on Their, on their Toes. The, the uh, sequel to Cheaper by the Dozen, written in the... Was it written in that? What's about the Gilberts? What a lot of fun. See you then. Well, I'm a fairy with a magic wand. Look, here's my magic wand, a plastic pen. Let's see if I can perform magic. I can. I can, can't I? I can do magic. I can do magic. Fun. That's my magic wand, folks. And let grab. Works with grass, too. Some dry grass, let's have a look. The law of attraction. Perhaps I should call my video the law of attraction. Bend, bend, that's it, bend. Bend, bend to my will, bend. What about this leaf? A little bit of a bend. Oh, that's a nice one. Look, this is a piece of fumetry, delicate, fine fumetry leaf. That's a nice one to bend. Let's watch it here, the fumetry leaf, so fine and delicate. Here we go. Bend. There's a soft wind. 